This is what I like also. You know in Panantukan, right? Yep. So Panantukan Filipino dirt boxing and everything else. Yep. We want to use that. Well, here is the little knuckle duster he's designed with. But I'll always say this, he's a thinking man to take it to the next level. One way, many variations. Here's the many variations of this thinking man style. I'll let him explain that to you. All right, let's, let's take a nut. The typical nut that you see out there, which is very popular, it's a rectangle, semi-square with a hole in the middle. The only thing is what happens is, for me, having a finger in, my, in a hole, I'm trapped. I don't want to be trapped. I want to be able to flow. Make it something that's key Easy to accessible. carry, yeah. Put your hand in here, your keys hang. Why waste your time? Smack you, grab the tool, pull, transition. From an open to a close, and I continue wiping. So imagine what you can do if you go from a blunt object, this is my nut, and I have this in my sheath. I lock it in, here are my keys, I pull, oh. and I transition from a knuckle to a box opener. <laughs> so, <laughs> box opener. Box opener. That individual is grabbing, he grabs my keys, takes out, I don't stop wiping. So the motion is the same. Mm -hmm. and, and once again, it's the same thing about the flow and the ideas of Filipino martial arts. You have one way, many ways. You can use a knuckle dusting, you can put it as an edge weapon, you Absolutely. can do it simple, you can drop, you can maintain and everything else. A thinking man's tool and that's what, you know, I guess influence of the Filipino martial arts Absolutely. happens. But at the same time, when you find people who are practitioners and taking the theory of the ideas of designing stuff, but coming from the arts that require them to use. And that's the beauty of what Luis has been creating for us over here. Yeah, they had an original, this is going back 25 years ago. They had an original. Frank, the legendary Bram Frank. And Bram is one of the guys.